hello there ladies i wanted to come on here and show you some goodies that i bought um i want to show you some goodies that i won from a giveaway and also what is on my nails currently this is my thanksgiving set here sorry if my cuticles look a little crusty um for the nail this uh this design mainly was uh nail polishes the only gel polish was this color here under my two fingers on both hands um the brown i don't know if you can tell it's brown but this brown holographic polish that i used is from painted polish and it is in the color boogie with the beast and it's a pretty dark chocolate brown holographic um let's see if i can zoom in holographic polish and surprisingly out of all of the holographic polishes I do have um, I did not have a very bright orange so I wasn't able to add that within um, this design um, let me show you hold on um, the one orange that I do have I'm going to show you what it does hold on Okay, let's make sure that it was recording. Okay, so I'm back, right? This is from the Halo Hues collection that I got from the Color Club. And this one is Cosmic Fate. This is the only orange one that I have. But do you see how it's separated? Uh, and, I mean, even the top part here is, like, this is the only bottle that this does. Now, I don't know if for some odd reason my daughter did something to this one. And she just didn't tell me. But it's a little weird. Like all of the holographic um, powder, pigment, whatever you want to call it, all sinks either to the bottom. And when I flip it upside down just to get everything, it just it doesn't mix. And it doesn't stay mixed. I can shake this up until I'm blue in the face. And it would just fall. I don't know if any of you guys have any of the color clubs, the Halo Hues. And if they do this to you, but this is the only one out of the 12 that I got. So it's a little weird. Like, I, I don't understand. I kind of have them all in the same place. I have them all together so that I know they're not separated how I do my polishes upstairs. I have them all, like, all my pinks, my purples, my blues, my, you know, I, I don't have them. I just have them all sitting all together. And this is the only one that does this. So I was all happy thinking, oh, yeah, I can use the only orange that I have. But, yeah, this happened. So if I ever want to use it again, I got to get like, you know, a mixer or something. I don't know. I mean, because I can't get a hold of Color Club and be like, hey, send me another one. I doubt they will. You know, they'll probably just be like, oh, maybe something happened to it. Blah, blah, blah. Yakety yak, whatever. So, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed, but what can I do? I just have to work on getting me a holographic polish now. And so that's the brown. And I love it. I was going to add like the, um, what is it called? The gold, um, what's it called? You know, the really thin gold that you could put on your nails. I don't know why. They come in like little containers. You know what I'm talking about. I was going to put them on my fingernails, but then I just decided to keep the holographic. So, and as for the red here, sort of like a red berry, cranberry. And this one is Coco on Canal. It is from the store C4N exclusive. And they collaborated, I think, with the person that does tonic polish. They were handing these out at PolishCon. And my daughter was actually very lucky. She was outside waiting to be the early entrance people. And this uh, that company came around because they sell for, like, they're like a distributor. And they came and they were starting to hand out... Um, like little baggies of like polishes and my daughter got this one and she was nice enough to give me this one so it was cute it was the only really pretty red that I thought in my head that I wanted to use so I used that once on this hand and then I used the brown once on this hand and the red twice on this hand so I mean it's not very decorated but the only ones decorated here are with this uh major digit soak off gel 
It is the number 11. And I think I gotta add some thinner to this because when I was using it, it was pretty thick. But it's like a, you know, like a nude beige color. So I used that one and then I just took some of this skinny striping tape that I have. And this striping tapes here and the red one are the ones that I had gotten from, um, oh geez, I forgot that company. But the time that I went and I got like 30 of the silver uh, striping tapes, <laughs> it was it was <laughs> within the same uh, the same order. So I just kind of grabbed the um, the gold, the orange, and the red out, and I kind of made sort of like a plaid kind of design on my fingers here. So yeah, that is my Thanksgiving um, no design only because. I don't have any stamping plates with any kind of Thanksgiving. I have like the fall leaves and everything, but I have nothing with like Happy Thanksgiving, Give Thanks, a turkey, pie, mashed potatoes, nothing. So I got to work on getting me a Thanksgiving plate for next year. So that's what I have on my nails. I like them. Loving the holographic. Love it, love it. All right. So what do I have here first? Oh, this is an order that I did with the made to glitter i saw that she was selling those really cute stars that everyone has been um hauling and making mixes with and stuff so i got a tablespoon of the silver pretty 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 you come in like three sizes like a really big one then medium size and then really tiny they're so awesome. I want to get these in every color possible. Red, orange, gold, green, blue, purple, pink, black. You know, I also saw somebody do a nail design with, um, not the ones that are like this, but they're like cold tones. So they look like diamonds. And I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know that they made them that way. So I only got the silver. Um, this is the one that has like the blue in purple shift but the other ones i'm talking about it, it looks like it's uh i don't know like mirror like mirror shine really pretty so this one i am hoping to do my first all blue and white and maybe silver um snowflake design for christmas so i was so happy to get these and then here are the gold ones they're so pretty and like different. I just love them. So I got those three. So thank you so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy with these. And then she sent a little thank you. She sent one of her mixes. And this one is Black Magic. It's really pretty in this blue. I love anything blue. Some blues and golds. So really pretty thank you and then we have dazzling diva and this one is pink and it has a whole bunch of neon colors in it there's also bigger span uh, spaniels spangles spaniels it's a really pretty mix and then lastly she sent me this white fantasy uh, tinsel it shifts from pink to purple. So that'd be cool on uh, like a dark colored nail. Awesome. So thank you so much, hon. I was so happy and I can't wait to order more from you. All right. And then lastly, let me put that away on that side, is my winnings from uh, the Nail Junkie here on YouTube. If you know her, she's also Evie O'Hara on uh, Facebook. And she was doing a Beauty Big Bang um, sponsored giveaway for six of their, I think it was like Christmas and Halloween plates. So hopefully these don't give me a problem to take out of the covers again. Because when I got them and I wanted to look at them when they came in the mail, they did not want to come out of these little sleeves. So, all right. That one came out pretty good. And this one is 
uh, number six in the Beauty Be uh, Big Bang collection. And this one has, um, you know, snowmans, Santa, uh, Happy New Year, some snowflakes and bells. And then here's a really cute snowflake design, deer and um, some pine trees and then some peppermints and candy canes. So that's number six. I was so excited when I found out I won. I was like, yay, more stamping plates. <laughs> and then here is number four. And now I have spider web designs. So <laughs> with a spider. And then here are these. These are pretty cool. Kind of reminds you of like garland or something. And then here's some skulls. Skulls with the diamond background in the back. And here is some pumpkins and some ghosts. So that was number four. If you guys want me to do any swatching on these, just let me know. And I will do that. Come on. Don't be a butt. And I was kind of like, oh man, they put the, the stickers on some of these. And I didn't check to see if they just come off or not. I mean, I guess it's not too big of a deal. Oh, and then this is number five. And then we have some... Um, like a plaid here. That one looks like a very geometrical, like a uh, snowflake design. Another sweater design. Definitely another sweater, like a yarn. Down right there. They're all pretty much like an ugly sweater type of thing. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's number five. And number two. This is a Halloween one. We got eyeballs and candy um, lollipops. We got boo. We have um, spider webs and graves and pumpkins and bats. Then we have this cute skull and crossbones. A little kitty cat. Some green reaper, vampire, uh, a devil girl, I think. Focus. Trick or tree and a creepy tree. That was number two. And number one. We got some uh, skulls and bones. Alani, what are you eating? Oh, this dog's always in here. Some more webs. Um, some bats. And then some webs. Owls, kitty cats, witch hats. Uh, another web with some spiders. Um, Halloween with the bats. A dripping eyeball. A ghost. Trick or treat. And another creepy tree. And then... This is number one, right? Oh no, number three. Did I get number one already? Or did I just say that? I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, that was number one. And then here is number three. And I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but I don't have the other little part of the cross there. So that kind of sucks. But that's a bat with a cross, a pumpkin, a scary little ghost, a scary little house, some jack-o'-lantern faces, um, some pumpkins here, skull and crossbones, and of course the, I don't know the painting's name, but I know it's like the Scream type of face. For the movie Scream. So yeah, these are the plates that I got. So thank you so much again, Evie. And Beauty Big Bang for picking me to be one of the winners. Can't wait to put these with my collections. But yeah, like I said... Um, if you want me to do any swatches on these plates, just let me know. And I will do that. So thank you again all for watching. Um, I will be back with, of course, other things that arrive in the mail or anything that I want to show you guys. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think of my new sets. I really do love it. Yay! So yeah, I'm going to stop babbling. I'm going to go drink my coffee. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.